What's up, everyone? Um, we had a we had an awesome we had an awesome call today on Clubhouse, and uh, you know Denisa was was right in the room, and uh, you know she brought up the topic of persistence, and you know what are some of the things that maybe we're struggling with, and you know we always do our good news and our challenges and our goals, and and you know the one thing that I brought up today was core values. Um, I was just at the mastermind. That was a an exercise that we did, and and you know it's something so simple. It's just so simple sometimes. And uh, Tuesday, I actually sat down for thirty minutes and, and wrote out my core values. And the core values, you know, the difference is not who we want to be; it's who we are. And actually having to write that out into a sentence form. So, um, you know, I I wrote out six six core values, right? And and it was a simple exercise, but I want but. That, that's not what the whole conversation was today. It's, it was about persistence. And, you know, in, in our business as a real estate agent, if you are, if you are only trying to get yeses all, all the time, uh, you're going to be defeated and you're not going to enjoy things and it's going to be hard for you. And in our business, you know, we're, we get told no a lot. I don't care what type of, what type of, uh, business you get, whether it's sphere of influence, whether it's uh, open houses, whether it's internet leads, direct mailers, door knocking, whatever the case may be. If you're in sales or you're in real estate, you're going to get be, you're going to get told no way more times than yes. And there's going to be times that you get thrown off. Uh, it even happens to me 11 years in, I've, I've done a lot of business, you know, cold calling and all of those things. And even what I'm doing now, there's times where people respond and they're just mean, they're just nasty. They just, they just say things and, and, it, and it hurts. I'm human. We're all human, right? It, it does hurt. It stings. But you can't let that one response or that one no stop you from moving forward. Take a minute. Take two minutes. Take five. But do not let it stop you from prospecting to go out and find those yeses because we do not need to help everyone. We only need to find people that need our help and that want our help, right? There's a difference. Um you know, the people that need our help and want our help, there's a difference in that. Uh, so as a real estate agent or as a sales professional or whatever the case may be, you know, the the more no's we get, it's, it's going to get us closer to that yes. And, you know, I've been, I've been getting some, I've been straight up cold calling homeowners and some of the, some of the responses we get are just nasty. Like, you know, I, I got one the other day and I was just like, man, you know, can I do this? Do I want to do this? Um, and I and I sat there for about three minutes, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I don't know this person. They don't know me. Uh, I have great intentions of what I'm trying to do and, and who I'm trying to help and who I want to serve. And this person, you know, screw them. Move on, right? And just, boom, got back into that rhythm. Got back into that rhythm. Um, and, and and got told no and got told no and got told no. And, and you know, I got one person that said yes or that they are interested, right? And that's what it's all about. It's finding those people that, that you can help and, and that want our help and, and that we can serve. So keep pushing, keep moving. The persistence, the consistency, the, all of that is is um, is what you're gonna need in order to succeed in this business. And I hope you guys go out and crush it. Continue to do your thing. Uh, continue to stay positive. If you, need, if you need any help, you can always reach out to me. I'm here to help everyone grow in this business. It's been a beautiful thing to me, and I want you to succeed as well.